ciao. This car lived on the East Coast, so I started by spraying the caliper slide pin bolts and the caliper bracket bolts with some PB Blaster. Break the two 17mm caliper bolts loose. Depending on what side of the car you're on, you can often use your foot to create the most leverage. Then break loose the two 14mm caliper slide pin bolts and remove the lower caliper pin bolt. Flip up the caliper and remove the brake pads. While you're doing this, inspect the dust boot around the caliper piston to make sure there's no cracks or leaks. Put the lower caliper pin bolt back in for safekeeping and remove the caliper bracket. Safely set the caliper bracket off to the side so that the soft brake line is not being stretched or crimped. I'm balancing mine here, but it's always a good idea to secure it with a bungee or a long zip tie. Since the rotors were rusted to the hubs and the release holes no longer had threads, I sprayed PB Blaster in the holes and I used a tap to create new threads but I didn't need to use a bolt after that because the tap broke the rotor loose from the hub. The tap size I used is an 8 by 1.25. The new rotors come with a film over them to help prevent rust. You'll need to spray it with brake clean to clean all of that off. Put the new rotor on. When putting the caliper bracket back on, I like to use a bit of blue Loctite on the 17mm bolts, which are torqued to 101 foot-pounds. If your brake pads came with new hardware, now is the time to change it out. If they did not, now is the time to clean yours. Set the caliper aside, again being careful of the brake line. My technique is to use a flat blade screwdriver and the palm of my hand against the screwdriver to create force. Replace all four pieces of the hardware in the same way the old ones were in, with the spring towards the back. I use a flathead screwdriver to help with the hardware go into place. In order to clean and lube the caliper slide pins, pry the dust boot back just by breaking the seal with one hand and removing the slide pin with the other. Clean and wipe the slide pin with brake clean. Then re-lubricate the pin with a thin coating of caliper grease. Push it back into the dust boot and make sure there's not suction and that the pin moves freely. If there is suction, allow a little bit of air back into the boot. Do the same process for the upper slide pin. Using a C-clamp, slowly press the piston back into the caliper. Make sure not to pinch the dust boot in any way.
It's always a good idea to give the rotor another good cleaning before putting the brake pads in. The brake pads follow the shape of the rotor with the friction material toward the rotor. Make sure to install the wear indicator. Install the brake pads and remember you're working against the spring, so be gentle but also firm. This is the back side. Remember to install the wear indicator. Put anti-seize where the caliper rides on the pads. Put the caliper back on. The slide pin bolts get torqued to 25 foot-pounds, and you can use a wrench on the flat sides of the slide pin bolts to hold them still while you torque them. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe below so we can help other people find this video. I offer automotive education and consulting, so if you need help completing this job, my contact information is in the description below.